you have to be in control of your own smart home. And I'm going to show you why. Future home proves why it's more important than ever to take back control of your smart home. I'll have a link to this article in the description, so you should check it out. Basically, this is a Norway company, and like 30,000 homes in Norway signed up for this service, bought their products and such, and the company went bankrupt, and guess what happened? Somebody bought them out of bankruptcy, and then switched everything to a paid subscription, and locked all those people out of their smart home. This is why it's super important when you're building a smart home that you stay in local control. In fact, even my home, does not necessarily use the Google Home infrastructure, but it uses it for voice control. The next time I rebuild my smart home, I will be going for local control for even the voice applications that I'm using. So if you have a smart home, what services do you use? Do you use local control? Do you have voice assistance and which ones do you use? But still, don't be like this article. Stay in control of your own smart home.